Look, I'm going on a ride. We're gonna have fun. But don't kill me. Okay? Welcome everybody to my channel yet again. This is a familiar picture to you and for some of you that have gone as far back as probably a year ago, I think it's around about that. Um, <clears throat> what's unusual about this image? Well, uh, or familiar at the same time, like I said, this has been in the premises and I have done a short review on this motorcycle. Um, I've got it back. I've been thinking a lot about purchasing this particular bike and uh, you for those that know, of you that know me know exactly why the VFR is my favorite motorcycle in the world um, obviously there are a lot of beautiful bikes on the market there are a lot of uh, very good bikes on the market um, but as a child the VFR has always uh, sparked an interest in uh, my imagination as a result of encounters that I've had as a youth um, I think it was the 400, the very first VFR that I saw. And I saw that VFR pulling away. I will never forget the sound, the, the, the smell, and what came out of that exhaust during that pull away. It was a carbureted model at the time and a 400. NC30, I think it was. Uh, this is a 2009, and I've got it for a couple of days. The owner of the motorcycle is busy. He's got a business to run, and he said, uh, take it. I know you make videos, uh, you know what to do, give it a good clean, take it for a ride, uh, he's busy, he just hasn't got the time, and as you can see, it's in need of a proper clean, and I have just the right tools to make this bike, uh, bring it back to its original uh, look, and what it's supposed to be looking like, uh, it's just a bit dirty, I, I wouldn't ride it like this, I I'm going to be going on Saturday with it, I'm not sure where I'm going to be uh, placing my uh, cell phone over here wouldn't fit uh, These handlebars are quite awkward too. Uh, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna make that work But the reality is I've got to I've got to bring footage to you guys. So if they um, um, If there's no footage of me riding the bike too bad But I'll certainly bring footage of the trip. We're gonna be going on Saturday, which is a pretty local one but uh, will be interesting uh, to say the least particularly uh, considering my uh, my videos now got two bikes to to discuss this one's going to be resting this weekend uh yes she is um totally different setup uh, the inline fours versus the v4 motor totally different uh, experience but anyway i want to cut it here and bring you whatever it is that uh, is in store for the uh, future of this video and as we speak let's cue the intro. Good morning, internet, and welcome to finally the next day. It is a, it's a morning, it's about 20 past six, I've got 10 minutes. This is the sky, it was a little bit darker than that. There were a couple of cumulonimbus, such as this one, above the skies, which uh, were an indication of rain but so, uh, for some reason they seem to be dissipating and I've sprayed the chain unlike yesterday and the VFR is ready it's ready for our little short trip to the north we're going to be going to Linden and then to the River Sands farm uh, just so we can socialize a little get together with the boys and of course enjoy the um, the joys of, of uh, riding a VFR 800 VTEC of course and let's not forget they there aren't any they are, there's no bike on the market that comes with the VTEC this is the only VTEC motorcycle on the market in a V4 so I hope you enjoy the Lord has portioned this day for us and we know we're gonna have some fun uh, we commission our angels to camp around and about us, protecting us in all of our ways. May our words be fruitful and encouraging. Each and every encounter we have be an encounter, a divine encounter, that we may represent Him in all honor, in all truth. 
I'll put up a scripture in a moment. So, we'll see you as we develop. And of course, I'm not going to be filming, as I said. I don't have a place to put my phone on these bars here. There's no way I could have put my phone here. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to do with whatever footage I bring you. So, we'll see you at Bainbon, where we're going to be meeting on the way to Linden to the Argentinian cafe. So we've arrived. Well, I've arrived. Not every day I'm the first one to arrive. And I think we're not going to have a coffee here today because they only open at 7. And uh, 6.30 was the time, so it's possible I'm five minutes early. But I wanted to mention something about this motorcycle. And I'm going to make a little comparison later on before I terminate the video. Uh, I've just found out that this motorcycle is six kilograms heavier than my CVF. Which is pretty amazing considering the exhaust this bike carries. I mean, this bike's exhaust here is, um, gives you an indication of how heavy this is if you don't gut it or make some modifications. Uh, so interesting uh, that only six kilograms are added to this compared to the CBF. Uh, and now that I look at it again, I think I've done a pretty good job of polishing her up. And now it's just a matter of waiting for the rest to arrive. We'll see what other footage we can bring. Now I'm starting to hear a number of motorcycles. It looks like Justin there. And uh, he's coming alone. <laughs> so, and there's another bike there. Let's see. Oh, that's his wife. Okay, so we got three, three of us already. <laughs> the, good morning. The sound of that exhaust, man, I have no words. And we have another BM. How's it, Justin? How are you, man? There she comes. How's it? How's it? Look at those lights. There we go. Three of us. And Chevy's on his way. So, yes, yet another addition to the ride. At least we four of us. I know there's going to be at least two more. So, we're just waiting for them. We are so Finally, one. One down, one to go. <laughs> Line now is looking a little bit more exciting with a Harley in it. Forgive it for the <laughs> Absolutely agree. Good. How are you guys? <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you, kids. Right and the second last edition to our collection today, our line out. The Boulevard Suzuki Power, 109 cubic inches. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, the line out certainly looking better now. Let's go see one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh. We're waiting for Mali. Mali is on a CBR 1000 RR. Those bikes take longer to get anywhere. It's just a joke, by the way. Let's hope he comes soon. So yeah, a pity I won't be able to film uh, on the VFR because the VTEC sound clicking in at six and a half is pretty awesome. Everything back about the CBR, apparently they are fast. <laughs> he made it. Here we go. Maybe it's the rider. Right, and finally, we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, off to Linden, to the Argentinian. So, yeah, apparently uh, Jackie's exhaust has been decat. So I can't wait to hear that. Pity I'm not going to be filming whilst we ride, because she took the cat out. Out of this engine, you have no idea what it sounds like. So two BMs, AVFR, I think this is the only Honda, uh, the, oh, there's two Hondas. VFR, the Triumph, <clears throat> and the Harley today is looking pretty shiny, if you look at that. So yeah, looking uh, promising this ride. 
the CBR always looks fantastic and the boulevard we're ready to go can't wait for our coffee and the croissant right we've made it to the Argentinian I'm yet to make a video about this place uh, but this is plus plus minus as good as it gets particularly concerning the European lifestyle and uh, we're gonna go and have a coffee and a croissant just like in Paris or in this case the Argentinian so here it is we're gonna have a chair out the table outside we came just in time before the rush starts because this place gets busy there's a number of coffee shops over here and uh, there it is bakery and coffee shop the Argentinian you can't see the Sun doesn't allow oops there's our bikes and the team and this is the atmosphere I was talking about <clears throat> How's this for South Africa? Not too shabby, hey, not too shabby. Is that enough for us? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Otherwise, we'll get another table. Another table. Where can we put the helmets on the floor? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of us. Two, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. I'm going to put this on YouTube so I can advertise your... Your, your okay. coffee shop. Yeah. I do coffee runs. Oh. It's called Choice Breakfast Runs on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Nelly, you're in on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. We're just going to wait for them to arrive. And as you see, inside is already full of people. So there you go. This is the atmosphere. And there's another coffee shop down there. GPS now. When no, I was the asking there. The boat. Yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. Listen, next time I see you, I want a gold cup holder on that bike. <laughs> and a tattoo. And a tattoo. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. We've arrived. We had to ride a little bit on the sand, unfortunately, after all the hard work of cleaning this bike. But I'll hand it over just the way I promised I would. So, River Sands Farm. Here we are. The boys are happy to be in a different place. And, uh,. They were clever, they parked away from the sun. So yeah, I've got a video, a video that I've made previously on this. So I'm not going to film too much, but I am going to obviously bring you the rest of the footage. What a pity I never managed to uh, film with inside the motorcycle or riding the motorcycle. What a pity to let you guys hear the VTEC work, working there. And it's been pretty pleasant so far. The weather is magnificent. And uh, I just want to film this statue here quickly. This apparently comes from Indonesia or somewhere like that. It's made out of a tree, tree trunk. It's quite uninteresting. I don't know how much you can see. Well, there we go. You should name this something or other. Wonderful. <laughs> it was just what I was saying on video. They should name it something. <laughs> so, how cool is this place? So anyway, we've arrived and people have already started settling down. And I need more than coffee, water or juice. So, let's go film the rest. Because there's a lot going on here. They're probably wanting us to have the shawamas, but we've already eaten. And... Uh, Oh my word, there's a tractor down there. I don't know what kind of works they're doing. But uh, this is where the shawmas are done. Been here before. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed so far the footage I've managed to bring across. And hopefully I'll be seeing the owner, uh, which I think is getting familiar with me by now. Oh my word, look at all of that. There's a lot of work being done here. I'm going to have to ask him what he's doing because... Uh, Mally, that wasn't there before, this tractor and all these works, eh? I've got no clue what he's doing. Oh my word. Wow. Okay, I'm sure he's got good reason to do what he's doing there. But I'm glad I came to see the developments. So, anyway, I'm going to end here and we're going to sit down. Okay. 
So today this, there are more shops open. I think we came at the right time. This is quite cute. A bit of curious going on, yeah? And a cute doggy. I have one of those. Come here. Mine is called Kobe. This is Puzzles. Puzzles. Yes. Mine is Kobe. He's uh, very similar, but he hasn't got so much white and he's got the same amount of fur. This one's younger. He's 11 months. 11. Oh my goodness. Mine is 10 years. Oh wow. But they last, they last a long time. So you won't, you won't see them aging. You need to keep us busy for a long time. So, uh, uh, trust me. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. Awesome little uh, store here. This is something I wasn't able to film before. And uh, I love the antiques, man. Check at that painting there. A little African community around a loser shoe doctors. Loser is Portuguese, unless Luso means something in either Shang in Tswana or Zulu. Look at this guys. Wow, very pretty indeed. So there you go. I've managed to finally come in here. Every time I come here this place has been closed. Here's some footwear. Relax your feet. Wow. bring you what I can from this part of the world every little place I go to has its own little culture and feel to it so I'm gonna find out if they have water because I've had coffee already so or ice cream ice cream sounds good we'll see what happens we'll see what happens There's the fan working. So it's a functional uh, engine at 101 degrees, the fan is on. I'm hoping it goes off sometime, but it is too hot to guarantee that now. But anyway. There you heard her. So fan working at these temperatures. Uh, so yeah, a functional motorcycle. Everything in order so far. And I put some fuel in there. Uh, unbelievable what uh, this, the price of fuel has become. So very sad. Uh, end of an era, I suppose. Electric motorcycles taking over and vehicles. Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. So, uh, and another trip terminates. Um, this is one way to conclude the footage you witnessed. Um, obviously, not having had the camera mounted on the helmet, you probably missed out one or two things on the road. It was absolutely stunning. The VFR is quite a machine. Uh, the fuel consumption, I'm a little disappointed compared to the 600, but obviously uh, a, a bigger capacity motor, as I said in previous uh, videos of mine. This is not a bike, you worry about fuel. This, this you don't buy to save fuel. So if you want to save fuel, get a 600 or an NC700, the parallel twin, even better. Um, <laughs> all I can say is there's certainly a fuel difference in consumption between the two. What I find most amazing is when I compare the two bikes, there's a six kilogram difference, at least according to Google statistics. Um, I stand to be corrected between the CBF and the VFR. So, uh, how do you justify the fuel consumption? Well, I've got a feeling the VTEC has, some, has a big role, particularly on the highways when overtaking. Um, that is the culprit. So, uh, it is what it is. You know what? They built this bike as a VTEC. Uh, you can't modify that. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. So, on the other hand here, even with the modified exhaust as I have it, uh, the consumption is certainly better. So if you guys are looking for a motorcycle that does not use a lot of fuel, stick to the 600s and 700s, uh, particularly the twins. 
uh, can't go wrong. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, from 110 horses, 100 on the wheel, to 78 horses and about 71 or 72 on the wheel. Uh, is there a difference? Absolutely. Uh, the maneuver maneuverability of the 600 is obviously far better. Uh, although you can chuck the VFR around. But the VFR wasn't designed to be chucked around unless you're on track and you don't have one of these on top. Uh, so, uh, totally different uh, motorcycles altogether. So, yeah, Honda, once again, well done. And to those of you that have come with me this, this trip, this breakfast run, uh, awesome. Uh, I thank you all for the new, new subscribers. Obviously, always happy to get one on board. And I'll see you on the other video. God bless. Wherever you are, have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you around.